<laughs> Ooh, y'all, wait a minute, y'all. This is some hot tea right here, baby. Ooh, what is it, Actress baby? Actress Demi Moore just dropped a bombshell revelation in her new memoir, Inside Out. The actress admitted to infidelity the night before she married musician Freddie Moore at the tender age of 18. Mm. Ooh. Demi wrote, the night before we got married, instead of working on my vows, I was calling a guy I met on a movie set. I snuck out of my own bachelorette party and went to his apartment. Ooh. Ooh. Then she went on to question why she didn't go to see the man she was committing to spending the rest of her life with to express her doubts. And then she said, because I couldn't face the fact that I was getting married to distract myself from grieving the death of my father because I felt there was no room to question what I'd already put in motion. I couldn't get out of the marriage, but I could sabotage it. Now, that's deep. Well, yeah, she I had no like business that. getting married anyway at 18. No, you don't that's even a know good age. You, no, it's not. That's you don't so even know young. who you, you are know your life. at 18. But when right. you know, if you know what you're doing, and I mean, 18 is not too young. No, Clearly, no. she didn't she know what she was did, doing. Right. She was actually uh, masking her hurt and pain of, exactly. of, her, of, of the grievance of her father and trying to uh, substitute it with, with love. And she really didn't love oh, this we, guy. She just needed someone there. Oh, so the guy that she was going to marry, so the she guy that she him. cheated with, then, so that wasn't love. That was she just didn't love her. either one of them. So if you guys had to pull out of a wedding the night before, what would y'all excuse or escape plan be? Oh, Tell no. Y'all. Like, the night before is kind of drastic. I mean, you should know before the night before that you're not ready. Right. But I would almost do like what she did. Get somebody else and have sex with him and stuff. And no, he ain't gonna marry you now. And then now we're not gonna marry each other. Gary, you might leave the person standing at the altar. Well, no, I wouldn't do a congratulations. But um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but I would just, I would probably just do that. But then you're gonna hate yourself after you marry somebody uh-huh. that you really may not want to be with. That's gonna end up ending anyway soon because you done slept with somebody on, the night before. Why are you giving somebody that that you should be giving to the person that you're getting ready to marry? Mm. You're gonna spend oh, your whole God. life plotting on when you're gonna throw banana pudding when at them. You- <laughs>